gone all the way in, yeah. Hit it harder. Until it's flush. Is it kind of flush? It might be a little... Yep. All right. Okay, sometimes this hole may not be all the way through. And you can just take a, one of your dowel, um, wood dowels, supply with the kit, and just push it. They're just, they're just barely not through. And that's all you have to... So this is installing dowels for the tip-out tray. So Aaron here is going to use a dead blow plastic hammer, which is the best to install these cam locks. If you don't have one, you can place a block of wood over the top of the cam lock and hit it with a regular hammer. Uh, rubber mallets tend to be a little soft and don't get them, um, don't have a good impact. So we really like the orange cheap uh, dead blows from Harbor Freight. So we have a few that are just a fuzz off, and that's okay. We can be off just a little bit, and it'll be all right. Try to get them as square as you can, but occasionally you have them a little off, and those will be fine. Before assembly, we want to pull all the paper off, and uh, you would hate to have any of this on the tongues when you uh, put it together and glue it. 
uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be a mess. So make sure you remove any paper remaining on any of the cabinet parts. So in preparation for assembly, we're going to do a mock assembly first and make sure we understand how everything goes together. So we've got the left side laid down according to the instruction manual. And then we're going to take the face and we're going to insert it. And we make sure it's down well. And then <clears throat> the important thing is these fasteners do about a quarter turn. So if we go all the way counterclockwise, go a quarter turn, you will see that the mark will be become about straight up, maybe 1230, not past one o'clock. And so watch as we tighten that. We actually get a tight we get this uh, crack size shrinks when it pulls it in there. Okay. Make sure you hammer it down, get the crack at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Do a quarter turn on those cam locks.
So the structure gets kind of tall working on a table, so we've moved it down to the floor, uh, again with the cardboard underneath it to protect the surface. As you tighten the cam locks, it helps to hold a lot of pressure like on the board that you're doing to try to minimize any, you know, crack that you may see, any gap. So as you push on it and then tighten the cam lock, and the cam lock will pull that gap tighter too, but it's good to start off with minimal gap. And that should do it for the main body.
And that's the door ready to be put on the cabinet. So a stubby screwdriver can help a lot right here. Aaron went and got a stubby. And this is probably one of the more difficult things to do is attach this tip out door to the hinge.
So we have these nice little drill guides you see. So you basically put the drill bit at the base of these little notches and that's where all your hinges will go. We also have them up here at the top for the latches. So. So Aaron here, we have to get in here with a stubby screwdriver. Makes life a little easier. Tighten those screws in. You want this one? And that is the DIY kitchenette.